Hey guys, in this video, I'll be addressing some issues that persons have been experiencing while trying to follow the process of setting a password for their wireless modem or router or changing that password. Now, the first issue is that persons have experiencing issues trying to log in to the router, whether it be because they're unable to find the IP address or they're unable to find a default um, login username and password. Now, the first thing you'd want to do in order to identify the IP address is to open up command prompt. Now you can type CMD and it should open up. And then I want you to type IP config. Now, when you look down underneath something called subnet mask, you should see default gateway. Now, the default gateway is the IP address that you would use to get to your router because that's the device that you're connected to to get your internet. So you can either memorize the IP address or you can just highlight it and copy it. Open your browser and you can just paste it. And once you paste it in, you should be um, loaded to your home page for the router or modem. Now, the routers and modem, which is another issue that person have been experiencing, in terms of logging in, you will need the default admin. Sorry, you need the default username and you need the default password. Now, for my Aries, it is admin and password for the default login. That's standard for Aries. However, for next um, or whatever or Linksys, whatever router or modem you're using, it might vary. So I would suggest you research what default login is for your device. It's normally it normally comes with the documentation for the um device or it is normally on the device whether by a sticker that has the default password to log into the wi-fi itself those are normally put together but if they are not you can always research it and find what that default is i've shared links to the default um, ip address however i can also look for default um, username and password and try and share that as well in the in the description so hopefully that can help you but you'll need to look up for your default username and password so for me it is admin and password some persons might be admin admin um, for some it's admin password Okay, so now I'm in. Now, uh, I had mentioned in the previous video that I had created two separate wire wireless connections. One that basically works for further distances, which is a 2.4 gigahertz, and one that works for um, closer distances, which is the 5 gigahertz. The difference is the 5 gigahertz is faster. However, I wouldn't be able to pick um, receive it in further distances while the 2.4 i can pick it up at a longer distance however it would be at a weaker or a slower speed all right so i'm going to be changing the password for the 2.4 because that's one i would use when i'm further away and because i have other device connected to the 5 gigahertz I wouldn't want to necessarily have to change the password um, right now. So I can't always change about this or, you know, what um, I, I use this less. So for this example, I'll be just changing the 2.4. All right. So you would have had your SSID. Some most times as a default SSID. Um, you can change that. 
um, but if you don't want to change it, you can leave it. It doesn't really matter. It's just what you identify when you see the Wi-Fi. Sometimes you have a lot of the same brand Wi-Fi or the same um, distributor, the ISP. Um, and as a result, the ISPs have the same name and you might end up going on somebody else's Wi-Fi and trying to enter in that person's Wi-Fi and unable to enter and you're thinking that's yours. So some, so the SSID would help to kind of make your um, Wi-Fi unique in terms of the name so that way you can easily identify it. All right, so I'm going to change this to free password. All right, so I've changed this to free password. And now I'm going to apply it. All right, so take a while, a little while to load. But you'd realize, even though I was on my 5 gigahertz, which was the faster connection, I still lost connection because the router itself would need to basically save the changes, refresh, and allow that connection. So now, so I'm still connected to fast, right? However, now I want to connect to far. And I would recommend you stay on the page um, with the password if you are doing um, a similar setup as me. However, for those who just have the one frequency, then just try and save this password before you hit save. S sorry, try um, save that password on another item like a, you know a text a note notepad um a word <clears throat> try and save it you know write on write down on a paper that's what i'm trying to say that way when you do try to connect oh by the way the reason why it is taking a while to connect right now is because i have not entered in the the new password so it's still trying to use the old password to connect so I want to basically forget it. So if you have not forgotten the password, then it will continue to try and enter in with the password that was in there before. So now it's going to ask me for the password. I'll close this. Oops. I'll give it a little. I'm not, I'm wondering if I had mistakenly forgotten. Okay, I didn't. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought I'd mistakenly forgotten the fast connect instead of the fire connect. Okay, so the password is free password. So free password. And voila, I am now connected. So guys, hopefully this is helpful and you'll be able to recreate this in your own way and complete it in accordance and as i said before please try and try and save this password try and save this password um in a text file you know in in word try and write it down on a piece of paper if needs be but just make sure you have the exact password in here all right so thank you for watching I really appreciate the views. Um, subscribe. Leave a comment if this was helpful to you. Leave a like. Uh, thank you very much.